Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix it on your computer whenever you might hibernate it. Sometimes all it does is lock your computer. And this is a problem I've had with my computer at school for quite a while now. And what basically, sometimes maybe the hibernation bar might be corrupt, or just simply it will be something to do with here, the disk part. Now there's two ways to do it. One, if you are able to have maybe an elevated command prompt, or if your computer's blocking system isn't great, uh, then you can try this method with that I'm showing you now with CMD. You can also test it out. See if you if you do here CD, then C and you, you do this here, a C uh, colon backslash. And if it does go to this, then this method is probably fine to use. If it doesn't, then just wait and I'll show you this method. So first, what you need to do is go here copy this and just um, and then so I cd paste and my say access denied and chances are that will happen because your thing is not from an elevated command prompt so I'm say I'm not I'm an administrator on this computer but it's um, I'm running it as an administrator so I just say do it again cd there, I've now got access to it. Then you go disk part, you go auto mount. So I obviously didn't quite go to disk. Oh, okay, so I've wrong. It was meant to be backslash, I think. Control C, paste, enter. Disk part version. Now you type in auto mount. Of new volumes enabled. Now here you say it's mounting. You might say it's disabled. Enable it with auto mount enable. My computer's fine, but all you'd have to then type in is auto mount enable, and then um, press enter. It will enable it and then exit, type in exit to exit. So then, you know, I'm not going to because mine already works fine. Then, the other one is, is you're pretty much, uh, it's a sort of a get around for anything really, where you might use a command prompt, is here, uh, C Windows 32, you literally just go here, pretty much, and, but you may think, okay, go here, although I know it's here, there's no folder, there is no folder named disk part. Just be wary of that. There is no actual folder named disk part. All you do is you double click on this. Yep. And then load you onto here. Now, if your computer, if your school has a good, decent blocking mechanism, then what will happen is it might just flash up. Then all that what will happen is you'll notice that with mine it flashed up, but if you really watch carefully, like around this area of the screen here, I say watch real really carefully because it will flick up saying enabled or disabled. So remember if you just say also disabled, you do it again, it says enabled, again disabled, and then enabled. Now maybe not if your computer isn't great at blocking, it might come up with this. And all, then again, you just go and then disk part, you auto mount it from there, and then auto mount enable. That's just opening it like this. But otherwise, your computer should then be able to do it, even if your school's got a decent blocking system. Of course, I can't tell for every school, but it should be because it has worked in my school, which has got a really good blocking mechanism. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe, share with your friends, or click the subscribe button on the screen here. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.